All right, it's time for Off the Press. What are those headlines that made it to the front pages of some national dailies? You're about to find out. Uh, Ipunabo Unkotaria is standing by to give us analysis on these headlines. So here we go. We begin with the Guardian newspapers. The Guardian newspaper starts with ministerial list. Five ex-governors, technocrats, lead to Nubu's 42-man cabinet. Details of that is on page six, and if you can see the picture there, you can clearly see former governor Ganduje. You can see former governor of River State, Newsom Wike. You can see former governor of Kaduna State, Nasir Erafai. Well, the pictures are there for you to see yourself. Well, moving forward, you have. Tinubu emerges ECOWAS chairman commits to democracy in sub-region. Details of that is on page three of the Guardian newspaper. Terrorists kill 231 persons in Mango Council. Mango Plateau State there is one state that's bleeding. It's been bleeding for some time. That beautiful home of peace and tourism has been badly violated by bandits and terrorists and it's just so heartbreaking to see these kind of headlines um, concerning Plata State. But there you have a terrorist killed 231 persons in Mango Council. ECMA hired to destabilize Southeast for street canoes release to enrich self, says Ohanese. Page seven is where you find details of that Ekba hire to destabilize Southeast for straight canoes release to enrich self, says Ohanese. Well, that's it on the front page of the Guardian newspaper. <coughs> okay, uh, we will move to the leadership newspaper. And leadership leads with uh, Adamu runs to Villa as National Working Committee members allege disloyalty. We also have a story uh, that uh, telecoms investment in Nigeria hits $75.6 billion. Tribunal, APC closes case says no need flogging a dead horse. You can find that on page 7 of the leadership newspaper. Um, we also have cracks in APC uh, over National Assembly principal officers. Numbers, Nigeria to redeem $500 million euro bond this month. And then IGP redeploys 35 police commissioners in major shakeup. And uh, last but not the least uh, that I'm willing to read now is a fake UTME score. Lift ban on Mesoma's Mesoma reps tells uh, jam. Okay, those are the headlines we are taking from the leadership this morning. Okay, from the leadership, we'll go to Nature News. Nature News leads with acute hunger. WHO raises concerns amid climate crisis. Details, page three. Above the masthead. Niger State rice farmers implement early planting to mitigate flood risks. Subsidy. Petrol consumption drops from 66.9 million liters to 48.83 million liters in June. That is according to NMDPRA, page 5, is where details of that can be found. And something that concerns Lagos specifically is on page five you have details of you have a co-bridge reopens after extensive rehabilitation mm. negotiations are jubilating over this mm. the closure of that bridge has caused serious serious traffic mm. and yeah. stress for many negotiations so a co-bridge reopens after extensive rehabilitation page five is where details of that can be found And then you go on, Lagos residents protest persistent power outage, demand urgent action from EKEDC. EKEDC, 
uh, page six is where you find details of that. Account for Falcons $960,000 from FIFA. That's what I'm telling NFF. Details of that is on page 21. All right, that's the much to be taken from the front page of Nature News. And eventually that will be the end of, uh, okay, the, the much headlines we will take this morning uh, until we now join our guest uh, uh, who will be helping us make sense of all uh, these headlines. Opunabo in Kotaria, a political affairs analyst, uh, has just joined us. Good morning and welcome to the program, Kotaria. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. Okay, now the reading thing is that uh, some people are making a ministerial list. And <laughs> I know before now we've asked you, we'll ask you again. Did you make the list? Oh, yes, by proxy. By proxy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. By proxy. Okay. So Not to now river state by proxy, mm. which is a constitutional matter. Anyway, every state must have uh, been represented at the Federal Security Council. But the battle has always been good. Mm -hmm. And there are a lot of controversy surrounding uh, the nomination of Buses or Wiki because he is a PDP man mm -hmm. and said all kinds of things against the ABC during the elections, during the campaigns rather, but uh, switched over when it came to uh, casting of votes just shortly before the conduct of the election proper. There was a super injunction. What you call a super injunction is when you tell people what to do secretly, you don't want them, the world, to know that you gave such an order. So there was a super injunction to open government chairman and all his uh, followers that they should vote for Bola and Tinebu and have some surreptitious meetings with Tinebu. And I think a compromise was uh, struck. And this is the outcome of the compromise. Mm. While it is rumored that the ABC uh, was actually working for Atiku Abubakar, who actually was my candidate, and still my candidate. Anyway, the APC worked for Atiku Abubakar in River State. So it was like this switched year. You know? <laughs> and uh, because of the problem, the did it. Sorry, this man, the former governor, the problem I wish he had with, or has with, Yes, or Wiki. So when Yes, or Wiki now decided to support uh, Bola and Tinibu, of course, we all know that I mentioned the pass of Bola. And being the leader of the APC in the States, there is this general rumor that he actually worked against Bola and Tinibu's emergence as the president. And also, he gave his own super judge that said they should vote for uh, Atikwa Kubak. Now, Wiki now said no, they should vote. Wiki's case, which, of course, and uh, Atiku is well known. It's, it's not it's not hidden, it's no secret. So he works for Bola and Tinibu. And I think, you know, he, he will not just uh, do anything for free. He must have uh, reached an agreement. But why a lot of people are a little bit dazed is that, uh, if you recall, you know, this was the same man who said that he was, he's been a minister, uh, the vice presidential ticket, his spare tire, over his dead body will he accept such. An office is either the president or not. Uh, ABC is cancerous. UDP has just malaria that is treatable. So ABC had uh, stage four cancer. So why are you now retracting? That's that's why a lot of people are looking at this. But it's politics anyway. So I think he has his name on the list, right? Yes. Uh, looking, looking at that the picture on the. Now. Mm. So in looking at that, apart from the political sentiment that that he's name connotes we're looking at also the fact that he just he, he just re left office as governor of a state should he be on that list and when I you look at going, i was even going to i was even going to that my dear mm. uh, sister mine the truth is i my concern has to do with recycling exactly i mean if today i always tell people you know that's why i strongly disagree when to get a job in a particular place, you say five years experience, ten years experience. Yes, you can. There, there should be some form of tutelage, no doubt about that. But if everybody waits for five or ten years experience and nobody's been employed, how do you get experience? Now you say this Mr. A performed, Mr. B performed. 
Mr. J performed simply because Mr. J was given the chance. Mm. They are very sound. Uh, before they brought in this former, who is that? Uh, is, is it African Development Bank? Yeah. Additional. Additional. You know, before it was brought in, who knew how sound it was? Because you can have all your aids and even have a first degree and you can perform. Because there is a clear distinction between academics and practice. Mm -hmm. There are two different things altogether. Let's be honest with ourselves. There are so many people who are uh, first class in mass communication. I tell you, you ask them to come anchor programs, you meet. Mm. You know, so you must give people the opportunity. And when you give precisely, it, it disturbs me. Seriously. You, you you have about five former governors there. Now, if you go to their city, I don't know about going to. But if you go to a farmer, some of them were in senators. Some of them probably from a deputy government. So they why? Then what happens to the younger ones? And that tells you the greed. Because all I expect most of these former governors to do was to nominate persons. Mm. To say, look, I, I can vouch for Mr. A. Let Mr. A go and represent us in the state. But every time you want to, because that is a greed in the system. And that is a pain of our of, of our, our country. They keep one, they keep they want to grab, they keep grabbing, they keep grabbing, are valicious in nature. And some of them are so scared to be outside mm. or out of office. They they lot of them are scared. They still want to have that that cloud. Yeah. So that whenever they come out, people will still say, Yes, ah, blah, blah, we hate it. Mm. And at least the money is filtered. Mm. In fact, for the former governors, most of them are even on pension that I think should be challenged in court. You are there for eight, eight years maximum, and every month you're going with about 100 million naira. For doing what? Meanwhile, as a governor, you fail to pay civil servants, mm -hmm. you fail to pay pensioners, they don't even have their gratuities, but your own is constant. You must get it. You pay yourself 100 million naira. And that's why I commend Fashola, who rejected his. Even Benga Everyone, Daniel, former cars, houses, yeah. everything. Benga Daniel also recently wrote. Oh, Benga, Benga Daniel, Daniel. Benga Daniel. Yeah, are former governor of Benga Daniel. Yeah, he also wrote. Mm -hmm. You have a car in your in your state. You have a house in your state. A house in Abuja. Then every two two years they provide your car. I know the most fellow last week. They will never owe them the former governors, mm. unless you have a problem with the city one. Meanwhile, the pensioner. Who served the state for 35 years mm -hmm. have not been paid for seven months, uh, seven years. The pensioner cannot afford, but they are building a house. Eight years max, they are building a house for you in Abuja and in your state. It's so ridiculous. I will tell you the kind of way you think in this country. I and that's a mentality. They don't want to leave office. They want to remain in the door, they want to remain relevant. But if you remember, just as people left office as far back as 1975, 1976, the very first old government of is relevant to tomorrow. Your legacy will make you relevant. And you must not be in office to be relevant. If you are well respected and loved, people will still come to you and listen to you. They will pay homage. And if you say, I want this man dead, because of your antecedents, they will listen to you. It's like a son and a father. After training your son, you cannot tell him who to marry, when, where to sleep, where to, and when to travel. But if there is that good cordial relationship, you can always, he will even come to you and say, that what do I do? Uncle Taria. It's no longer a must. Yeah, Uncle Taria, I was just telling... Because of the way he was brought up. Yeah, Uncle Taria, I was just telling Nyamgo that this is, is on the front page of major newspapers. I mean, The Guardian is not, is not something to play with. It's not one of those papers you easily dismiss. It's one of the most reputable... It has its credibility. It's, yes, it has it credibility. Has credibility yeah. yeah, so Delia Alake had last week told us that Whatever list we're seeing flying around were just mere fabrications. But this we have coming from The Guardian. Okay, so let's say, okay, so this is not yet a press release from the government. But if this were to be confirmed, say this week, would you surprise you if these people made the list for President Bola Tinubu's government? It will not surprise me. I would like to be. It will not surprise me because uh, it will run in the air for quite some time now. Yes, yeah, I know you dismissed it, saying it might not be the authentic list. You know, but there's no smoke without fire. That's the truth. And as personally, at least one or two persons confirmed to me 
that so anything might happen even on the day of the announcement they might even remove some names they might add some names anything can happen because one or two men confirmed to me that it confirmed these names to me about um, four days ago and i'm seeing it on the on the guardian hmm. so i can tell you too that most times this is would also be so sponsored so that you tie the hands of the person hmm. It could be politics as well. Mm -hmm. Yes. So you say, ah, Mr. President, look at what is happening so far. Now you cannot get this case like this and all of so, All kinds of things, all kinds of things might, might just come to play. But for now, if you speak, I am, let me just say, 60% sure that these names will make the ministerial list. 60%, let me put it that way. If my sources are right, that these names are going to make the list. They might, they, there might be changes. I don't know. There might be changes. But for now, because I got this information about four days ago and from a very reliable source. Okay. Um, just before we drop this ministerial list uh, in Kotaria, um, what do you personally feel about the fact that the constitutions, uh, Constitution anyway has said it, but what do you feel about every state having to produce as a must a minister in the Federal Republic of Nigeria? I don't have a problem with that. I only have a problem with the Minister for States. I mean, I'm happy that First Scamma has come out to condemn it. But my worry is uh, you don't con you, you accepted it and you're coming out to say it's unconstitutional. So which you, you yourself cannot be trusted. There's a question mark on your integrity. That's what you did. But having said that, every state is for a reason. The whole essence is to ensure unity and cohesion. It will have this federal character so that no state will complain. Because if we didn't have such a thing, a man like Guerrero would have appointed all ministers from the north. That's the truth. And he will tell you there is no law binding him to ensure that it goes wrong. And, it, and look, at, look at the uh, problem in the east where they feel marginalized just because they have not been given or under Buhari specifically they were not given certain sensitive uh, military appointments and look at the Ferrari that generated you know, so it's on sentimental grounds and to ensure that there is a sense of belonging to strengthen the unity let every state so no one state will be seen as more important than the other state now, where you don't even have the federal character, for example, in the MDAs and so on, you can imagine what, what went on under the world. The North took everything, practically everything. And these things are being evinced in the appointment of special advisors, DGs of MDAs and so on, where it is not a constitutional provision. So, in fact, that most of them, their aides are from the areas. So it is, uh, it is justified that it is made a constitutional matter. But that is like in the East, I don't think Bible would have appointed anybody from the East. Where he said uh, the East is like a drop of ocean. They are completely relevant. That's coming from a president. He said it. So you wouldn't have even considered the East. So it is in those who read the drafters of the Constitution in the loftiness of their wisdom and show that they made it mandatory for every state to be represented. Because the Federal Capital, the, uh, the Federal Reserve Council is the apex decision making body. So let every state also be represented to go and be the voice for people from their state. The only problem is most people that are appointed are not appointed to represent the state, they are appointed on nepotic grounds. Mm -hmm. So they are there to do the bidding of the president and not there to actually prevent this thing, including most of our national assembly members. I'm not saying all, I said most of them, 90% of them. Of course, we all have got Boca Showers. We all have got Boca Showers. All right, let's move on so now. The, it, it, it is, it is, it is, yes, it was done for intensely good reasons, but unfortunately abused by those in office. Mm. Yes, many things have been abused from what we've seen. I mean, subsidy, for instance, is not something that is bad on oh. you. But because it's been abused, Nigerians are bearing the brunt for it. Nigerians have been made to pay so much. 
when they should be subsidized by their government? Because, I mean, is there any developed nation Every, where the people do not get some sort of world, subsidy? There is no country without government subsidy. None. Can you hear me? Yeah, we're yes, hearing you. We can hear you. Can you yes. hear me? Yeah, we okay. are hearing you. There is no country without government subsidy. No country in this world. What the problem in Nigeria is the corruption. And the presidents are all involved. I keep saying this thing. And if you ask me, I'll substantiate it. Because who is the minister for petroleum? The president. Who pays out the money for time? Who gives the approval for turn around maintenance? The president. The turn around maintenance, are they carried out? No. Is the president not aware that this turn around maintenance are not carried out? Who tells the world that the, it's a cabal, a cartel in charge, and they know the members of the cartel? Have they ever named or mentioned and told that the world the, 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 the identity of uh, the cartel members? No. You say you know the armed robber entry in house, and you say to tell the police. Even if you know the uh, members of the cartel, am I the one that's supposed to arrest them? Who is supposed to arrest them? When they play the ship, uh, uh, they, they, I think what they that they arrested that chief and sent back to Nigeria. What happened? Have you had anything again? They did with uh, uh, crude oil. Have you had anything again? Where is the money they paid to meter the pipelines? Where are the millions? How many military men were arrested, in, even from River State, a DPO? God, former governor, is a wicked. Told the service to bring the uh, when the came to the university of Mexico that your men are involved. Mm. Talk to them. Is that service or not? That is a problem. Who does who know? Tompolo, what of that captain they sent to man arrest them? Have you had anything to do? So what are we talking about? What did T.Y. Dandima say? T.Y. Dandima said the military is involved in both the bunkering and the uh, uh, insecurity going on in T.Y. Danjuma. Why didn't you kill T.Y. Danjuma? Well, that's how they said you. Okay. Come to Aouda, you see them. I'm saying Aouda here. Yeah. Aouda, you must say, come to Aouda, you see the soldier. Any. You need to look good on all right. You see, in now they are measuring now. All right, all right. Uh, you come and sit down to, to, to tell me to tell me one nonsense. Let's, see, let's I move to another thing. Another thing. <laughs> let's move to another thing and not just anger. So we know that um, uh, a lot of things happen under the bridge, but um, let's leave that matter for another day. Now we're looking at the maybe possible cracks in the APC, Adamu again. Uh, we remember even during the time of primaries, he, he anointed a candidate and brought forth and said that's the anointed candidate <laughs> and the consensus candidate. Now, uh, principal officers have emerged um, from the National Assembly. He still has a problem that that is just child's play. And uh, we hear now that the National Working Committee members are alleging that he is disloyal and he has gone to, the, to Asurok to the villa, where we think one of his number one, uh, I don't want to use the name enemy, uh, is residing. Right now, he wants to uh, go cap in hand to the president. Now, what do you say about the, the character of Adamu, uh, the, the leader of APC in itself, and the possible cracks in the leading APC? And I'm a non-conformist. He doesn't do like that. So those who know him, he, he has a mind. He's a maverick. He has a mind of his own, and he tries as much as he can to ensure that he imposes his views on people. I really don't know as much about him, but I know that when they made him, when they were to make him the chairman of the APC, a lot of people protested. I'm talking about within the APC. A lot of people were vast to. Is emergence as a chairman because the side is not a team player. And of course, I mean, uh, from what we see now, he's not a team player because first and foremost, he lied with his name that Lawan was the uh, preferred, the anointed candidate. I will not say that well, but I don't trust him. For a man to vote and show the world, which means in, initially it was against him, but in order 
to prove to Tinubu that, uh, well, uh, if that what they are saying is not true or I am loyal or something, he has to show his card, which is against the law, and the man is going to be free. He has no immunity anymore. So I will not completely dismiss Adamus and the allegation. But what I said, they did not really come out to dismiss that particular one. He kept saying, I have not reflected. Then let's leave that now. They went to the National Assembly of Corporation Officers. It's annoying, though. You know, Abamu is an, is an old man. So probably he's thinking of the NPN, uh, UPN kind of politics. We are the party supreme. Even when they have meetings, and the, the president had to appear before the national chairman of the party, and the man who called the church and such, such meetings, uh, we're the chairman of the, well, the people, we are the chairman of the of the various parties, you know. So probably he is still in that day and time, forgetting that uh, in modern time the, the presidents and governors are now leaders of the party. They're the chairmen, they're leaders of the party. So he is still living in the past, most likely. And that got him in sense that the, the National Assembly members will elect principal officers with, without recourse to him. And as an elderly man, we expect them to settle this internally. It's an internal matter, although the Christian officers are going to preside over the National Assembly, which is not going to be an internal matter. Because once you get to the National Assembly, it becomes an open matter and a national issue. So he's angry, and uh, we saw the backlash. And it's obvious that a lot of people are rooting for his mover. I can tell you that Adamu is almost out. Because even the president will not forgive him. You saw the way this man fought to let us in the president said, I hope I'm correct, Omileko, whatever. And even went a step further to attack the character of the president as an actor in work. So anybody who attempted to stall the fire, to stimulate the realization of that ambition, will not be forgiven. And after that, the man has been, I mean, Goose here and there. I mean, I'm talking about Daniel in terms of the National Assembly and all this stuff and the statements. So I think he's already out. I don't see Adam staying there for another. Probably the president just wants to properly settle in, announce his cabinet members, and then face the party politics. So running to House of would make no sense at all. Because I, it's not in the good books of the president. It will make it it's not going to save him whatsoever. Then I would have just kept my integrity in back. Or I would have even just resigned. The mere fact that you did. Uh, appointments and so on, allegedly without my knowledge, without my input, is already a vote of no confidence on me. Mm -hmm. And the president is even relaxed. And they said they work in hand in hand with the president. I'm talking of the, uh, the senior president and the speaker. speaker of course, yeah. the president was in the know. Mm -hmm. I know. So they work hand in hand with the president. Which means they just dismissed him. <laughs> so what are you still doing there? That's the problem I'm talking about. Greed. For oh, well, what are you know. still doing there? What more does he want? Well, in Kotara, you know, Nigerians is not in our character to resign from anything. So we just wait for that to I resigned. I resigned, my dear, my dear sister. I, I resigned. <laughs> All right, let's move record. forward to the leadership newspaper. This headline, Tinubu, APC closes case, says no need flogging a dead horse. Did you follow the tribunal in Kotara? And what is your assessment of what has played I... out so far? I, I am in quandary as to a proper assessment of the tribunal. Uh, lots of time, I mean, they, they give us the impression that, yes, I mean, we're going to get justice. Justice does not necessarily mean your preferred candidate is going to win. And that's why we called for uh, open court. Where is open court? We know the court is open, but uh, life, life uh, coverage. Justice does not necessarily mean your party must win, but you are convinced that sagacity prevail. That's exactly what, what we are calling for. Mm -hmm. But we also don't know, I can tell you that in most cases when you see this uh, panel telling you no problem, admitting everything heaven and earth, I can tell you that they don't want to give you all the impression that they are fair. Already the judgment is written. But I don't want to see that as a case. I don't want to see it as a packed jury. Mm. So, in the case of the APC saying there's no point flogging a dead horse, they are saying it can be interpreted in different ways. It can be interpreted maliciously. It can also mean, well, I mean, uh, what we, I don't need to call in the further witness, I mean, they fast speak for themselves. I mean, every, what we have here obviously for any further proof. That, that's probably what they mean. It could also mean 
that uh, whether you like it or not, we are going to win. The tribunal is asked. So it all depends on how you interpret it. You know, you can be interpreted maliciously. It can also be given a genuine interpretation. It's subject to plural interpretations. But uh, I think that uh, such a statement should have come from them. But that does not necessarily mean that what they meant was I say factual. Because the lawyer will come on tomorrow to tell you what you actually meant was the facts were already presented uh, presented before the court, albeit they need to any further proof that we won the election. That could be the argument. But many persons, the opposition can say, no, what they actually meant was that you, you, the tribunal is compromised. Hmm. But it's subject to, to interpretation. That, uh, but for now, if you look at the proceedings, yeah, you really have no doubt that the judges, for now, look upright. The, the, the panelists look upright. But uh, let's wait. Because the original decision, the, the, the reason for the judgment that will be, will tell Nigerians, convince Nigerians whether they were actually uh, uh, compromised or not. I mean, it's an open world. Mm -hmm. Once you see the judgment and the reasons advance are used, of course you'll know. You'll know if they are compromised or not. You are definitely going to know. I mean, it's less than how many days now. I'm going to be over. Yeah. Uh, We're okay. counting. Yeah. Uh, in Nature News, something really disturbing, uh, WHO raises concern amid climate crisis, and that is uh, on acute hunger, uh, which means there's a possibility that uh, we will even be hungrier than we are right now, because I can't say we will be hungry as if we are not hungry now, but it looks like it's going to be acute hunger, according to WHO. There is that concern. And the pre previous government had always prided itself as being as a government that has invested so much in agriculture and from the policy direction of this government we don't know where we're going <coughs> so what what does this report uh, speak to you about do you think they might be right or do you think enough is being done we may not face the acute hunger that they're pro projecting no 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 i mean they mean they mean the focus is right it's a portmanteau of issues you know um, apart from the climate, you have uh, uh, other issues, you know, such as uh, the fuel scarcity. Are you not hungry? Yeah, you should be okay. You're doing well. Everybody's hungry in this country. So it is not just not the climate. The climate change might fester the hunger. So you know, before you are taking drinking gare and granite. Now you leave the granite. You face the gare. But that you are going to eat the way you are eating. Mm -mm. Because cars, people are bad cars. I think, I, who said, it, you read it, that uh, the NNPC or whatever is complaining that the fuel consumption has dropped from 80 something to 40 something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Million. 66.9 to 48.43. So yeah. Exactly. So what are we talking about? Is that not a clear indication of hunger? That is just NNPC telling you that. You know how many people's parents that are already on sick bed hmm. for fear of where they will get money from to pay school fees? Those that cannot afford their rents. And so many, so many other issues. So the climate change, the job that um, must speak, let it do, and they're also working. Forget the word we already told about bags of rice, bags of rice, and so bags of rice, how much is the cost of it? Is the price of a bag of rice now? And how much was it before you came up with that uh, bag of rice salad? We are, we, are, we, are, we are growing rice in this country. You are producing now, is it producing rice? I mean, mm. is that how they call it? In this country. Mm. And rather than the price to come down, it is skyrocketing. How do you relate that? Those are just criminal activities, too. It's like the food, the food program. To the students we are told, and yet they can hear how much they said they spent. There was COVID. Students we are at home. Who are they giving the food? Maybe your maybe your children, maybe they didn't give you. <laughs> Who? And they pocket their money. So you can imagine. So forget that bad pyramid. Where is the pyramid? Oh, disappeared in Totin there. Just like the money they gave to Gura Kai and Ko. 
Yet the, their successors came out to say that there's nothing to justify the money that was received. I'm talking about their own successors, including the Atlanta Security Advisors, and I can say nothing to justify what the money they gave to the so, so it was a government and mess in fraud, she pretended by Buhari, because he gave all the orders. My dear brother, it is not all about the climate change. Yes, we are, the climate change is a global thing. But the difference is that in other civilized climes, they make provisions. They prepare well ahead. Here we wait. We are always reacting. But it's not just the climate change in Nigeria. We have a barrage of problems we are facing. Man-made problems. So if you talk of hunger, <laughs> we are tightening our seatbelt. <laughs> very soon there will be no hole again. In fact, very soon there will be waste. But the leaders, the the leaders, are, the leaders are losing their belts. <laughs> Driving SUVs and very soon now, if you don't want them to become skeletons, why they feed fat? These are leeches. I'm very sorry to say leeches. And they feed yeah, fat. The Nigerians look, are. Look at the SUVs the day he came back. The day he came back to Nigeria. Look at the SUVs. Mm. How many were you traveling with? Nigeria. Why do you need for the strategic ministers? Mm. Why do you need a minister for state? What are you going to do with the minister for state? How well, many advisors have, do you have there? Well, but we, have, we, have with less than, we have less than 36 ministries, I think. Uh, so we need ministers of state That's so what that, I'm so that some, state, some states every, will be represented. Every, like every, every ministry, every ministry representing the state, so to speak. Right. Why do you have minister for state? Why do you have to resort to special advisor? Why do you have how many uh, 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 <laughs> and this goes across the three tiers of government. And Nigerians are already. Every saying, time you're traveling, you're traveling out because you have well done the national road and in the government houses. You are not bothered. You drive the SUVs. People are, people are selling their cars. People are not even buying their cars because there's no money. You drive how many SUVs? You fly in and out at the expense of the masses. Then you start to tighten my belt to be called a skeleton. Why you become an elephant? Are you not a leech? Mm. Uncle Terry. I feel you fat on the other. Nigerians are yeah, asking, money. you know, how much the more do they should they be tightening this waist of theirs? Because very soon there won't be any. I just told to you now, can you put the belt around the skeleton? <laughs> <laughs> Let's move forward. Still on the news. Yeah. Still on Nature News, uh, the green strip at the bottom of the page, the front page, you have account for Falcom's $960,000 from FIFA. Waldrum is telling the NFF. I don't know how much of a sports, uh, a sports enthusiast you are in Cotaria. What can you tell us about this? Yes, uh, if it's football, leave me out to uh, just class. I don't know much. I don't know enough. <laughs> No, but you don't have to be. You don't have to be. You don't have to be. My wife, I didn't know for much. I tell the world, I don't know much. Not for much. The only much I know is my money. How to count it? If you give me ten thousand, I can count the road. No. But if you tell me uh, four minus four times four, I don't know what to think. No, but but my now now that. now it's not about. If it's God, yes. too, I am okay with God. Any other two, I'll just keep quiet. I'll be learning from you. No, Kotaria plays the big man's game. Yeah, well... The game for the big boys. <laughs> it's okay, we understand. That was then, no. <laughs> that was then. Now it's, now it's a game to ease tension. <laughs> Just take the stick and walk around. And as I tell you, come back. The climate change and the golf club will not teach you. <laughs> okay, well, honestly, I don't think about football. I, I don't have interest. No, no, no. But no, I no, think no, of no, no, Apart from that, no. NFF is a body run by the government, so to speak, and the not the known to golf. The, I want to say Jeff. The kind, the kind of, <laughs> the kind of rot that is within the NFF. If what Waldrum, the coach for the Super Falcons, is true, um, a lot of them have not been paid their allowances, and that they're, they're trying to go to a World Cup, and they're still being owed for things that they should have been paid. And you know what happened when uh, players in 1994 or so were promised. Uh, houses, and then those houses were given whether last year or so. So it takes so long, and there's so much rot within the, the system and all that. Um, but whether you like sports or not, you, you will have a comment on 
why there is this consistent rot in the system, whether it is NFF, whether it is uh, in other parastatals of government and all that. Why is it like it's a free-for-all affair that anybody can do anything? Mm. Well, the answer is lack of staring at you in the face. Lack of leadership? Lack of it's leadership. Lack of leadership. Corruption That's totally is... True. You see, whatever it is, everything stops at the table of the president. Mm -hmm. Now you talk of the minister for sports. If the president for a game like football that gets world attention, even though I don't play football, I don't even like, I don't think I've ever played. For a game like football, the president should be interested. In a situation where, because the minister could also be corrupt. The minister could also, like in the, in the past, we had situations where our sports ministers took sides with certain persons in this, NFF and so on. But you find out that even the minister could be corrupt. The problem with such organizations is the control of funds. It starts with power also. Why do you talk of power? Why do you have the power also? Who is going to be in charge of the funds? And unfortunately, the players are not beneficiaries. Rather, they are victims. Because no matter how much you pump into that place, the monies don't get to these players. And most times they get their play, their monies after they have left the country and are probably protesting. How do you expect such persons to put in their best, or to give it their best? So in the case of NFL, I remember when this, this young man, I call him a young man because uh, I think he's my age, I'm a year older than him, with uh, gray years. I've forgotten his name. You know what I'm talking about? He, he just left. He just left the office, I think, a year ago. Oh, okay. Uh, when that young man was there, Pinnick. I think. Amadou Pinnick. I, yeah, I think so. Amadou when, when he was there, I think they went to court until uh, it was settled out of court. They went to arbitration, court of arbitration, courts, and can settle out of court too. So. But you see, the problem has to do. A lot of, it's not just even the money they get from the country. The money they are, the forex they get from outside. If you don't have much, this will be feeling the judge of my class with a very good friend. So there are certain things he said. If you know how much these people make, you'll be shocked. I'm talking about the headship who is going to be in charge of these bodies. Mm. Not necessarily because the players only get compensated or rewarded, so to speak, when it is time for the game. And so there's even lack of preparation for the game, well ahead of time, unlike in other civilized that where they make sure that their players are well taken care of. So from the one, that exercising is there to go and reciprocate the government's control of what is it. In Nigeria, that's not the key. Now, back to the question. You are a president of the country. It's probably like football. There's one, there's, we can have one, we can have one system in government, which I, I commend. We can was one man that will tell you, Murray, go and find out the price of that thing. You will send another person, go and find out the price of that same thing, about two to four persons. As you come back with your feedback, you're looking at you. So he gets the first hand information. These are the kind of things the president should do. That's why they say the president is not aware of this. The president can be the president can be everywhere. If you know you cannot be everywhere, don't contest. Exactly. If you're not coming, don't contest. You exactly. can be everywhere. But you just sit back and allow one individual, either because it's your cousin, brother, nephew, or whatever, allow him to run aground and uh, body. And when one man sees that he does it with impunity and makes all the whole money in the world, the next person will go ahead and do it. So it's not all about the players. Because most times they leave this country without being paid. Most times they protest to be paid before traveling out. If you have an organization that is working well, canonical, you don't need to protest. Your Jew will come to you as a friend Jew. So the president is also to be paid because the minister could be compromised. Like in the last case. I followed up that matter closely. The minister was obviously compromised. We could see it. So it's all about Mr. President. The top of the commander look at the president and say, yes, you can be everywhere. You can be everywhere. If you cannot be everywhere, then you get out of that office. You I can be everywhere. You totally when they say you can be everywhere, so does not mean you must be there physically. No. Okay. Okay. That doesn't mean. Okay. Thank you so much, Open Abonko Terrier. Always a pleasure having you on Thank After you. Press.
My pleasure. Good morning. All looking sweet. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Just like you. We're trying to be like you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and that's the much we can take from off the press. We'll take a break now. When we return, uh, we'll go to our first uh, top topic or hot topic, as we call it. Stay with us.